So a quick video about this thing I've been seeing with political coverage. I follow a lot of politics. You often see these voting patterns of educated women. Oh, the educated youth did this. Oh, educated people this. Educated people that. Well, any actually educated person doesn't vote on chance of birth, such as race, sex, or you go to other countries, tribes, and all these other just happenstances things. You just happen to be black. You happen to be female. You happen to be of a certain group. So these kind of groups you just happen to fall into are not reasons to actually vote for anything or anyone. So why do people say this? It's some kind of elitist thing. They want you to think, oh, this person's educated. They know better than you do. But educated, not even just the quality of the education in the location that you're in. Some very educated person in China shouldn't just be able to just come to Kenya and vote on things because they don't understand the things that are going on in Kenya. So what's a good thing to actually vote? Actually, I don't think universal suffrage is a good idea. But I think, yes, it's good for people to actually be educated on what they're voting about or supporting. So what do I think an educated person would probably do before they support something, or in this case, vote for something? Maybe the Thomas Sowell three, these three questions Thomas Sowell asks. Compared to what? At what cost? And what solid proof do you have? Now, a lot of the people they talk about in this educated women voted for this, voted this and that. A lot of these people, before they got that education that makes them these educated people, if they had asked these three questions about their education, how would it have turned out? So the first question, compared to what? I should go to school compared to what? What are the other things I can do with this time instead of going to this supposed institution of higher learning and having the knowledge to actually pick what I want to do for the rest of my life? Now the next question is, at what cost? So let's forget the opportunity costs of all the other things you can be doing with your time, but let's talk about the actual monetary costs, the financial direct cost. Okay, this is free college. First of all, there's no such thing as free college. Just because you don't have to pay tuition doesn't mean somebody isn't paying it and you're not have, going to have to pay it later on, and that's the key. How much is it actually going to cost me to do this? Now, the last question, what solid proof do you have? Now, this is a question you can ask yourself or you can ask the people who are offering you these things. Now, what solid proof do I have that this is better than the other things I've compared it to do? What solid proof do I have that this is actually free or I'm not going to pay for this? What solid proof do I have that when I take on these debts, or somebody does take on these debts, I'm actually going to be able to have something that pays it back at the end of these debts? And a lot of people, so-called educated people, haven't even asked these questions before they actually take on this education. So that's it for this video. Schooled is not equal to educated. Simply sitting in a room and having people speak at you doesn't mean you actually understand anything of actual value that you can actually apply into the world in a practical sense.